Episode 10 of Dark Gathering begins with the godly spirit telling Yayoi and the others to come at him with everything they have. He doesn't plan to change his dastardly plans for AI. Yayoi tells Kitaro to leave the room since the devouring is about to begin. She explains the godly spirit upset the power balance in her room, so the weak spirits in her room will be devoured by the strong ones. This will allow the strong ones to live on. After the short battle, Yayoi opens the door and says a new graduate has been born. Suddenly, someone calls Kitaro using Yayoi's credentials. She tells him not to respond. Unfortunately, someone pulls the same trick on Iko. Before Kitaro can warn Iko, the figure locks him, AI, and Yayoi in Yayoi's room. Meanwhile, Yayoi uses the opportunity to lock the graduate up in a small book bag as it furiously tells them to pick up the phone. Before Iko picks up the phone, Kitaro manages to open the door to stop her. Yayoi tells Kitaro the spirits are so powerful that she can't contain their influence just in her room. She says they can cause problems within a vast radius, which is why she locks them up far away from the area. Yayoi says this is what she meant by the spirits graduating. She plans to discuss things more with him in the morning. We cut to Aiko, Yayoi, and Kitaro cleaning A's apartment. Yayoi hands everyone paper with markings on them. She explains this will create a path for the spirits and guide them away from A's room. They visit Yayoi's room to clean it up. Ai notices the time and tells the others she has to attend her brother's memorial service in Kyoto. After cleaning Yayoi's room, Kitaro's flustered they're picking a fight with a godly being. Yayoi reveals she may have jumped the gun with her words toward the godly spirit. Nonetheless, she says it's best they prepare for the battle ahead. Yayoi explains her initial plan to defeat the specter of death to Aiko and Kitaro. Due to the god spirit's involvement, she has to make subtle changes to it. Yayoi says they must capture new ghosts to fix what the god ruined and to capture that spirit. Then, they'll use their strength to defeat the specter of death. Yayoi tells Kitaro she's murdered a god before, but states how each one is different. She mentions she used three graduates to kill the previous god spirit. So for this one, they'll need six graduates. For now, Yayoi says she has three graduates, not including the one the god spirit helped create. She states she had seven Jizo who was haunting her a month ago, fight. This led to a transcendent Jizo's birth meaning she should have five graduates at her beck and call. Yayoi explains they'll take those five with them across Japan. During their tour, they'll capture new spirits. Yayoi says she wants to capture one more graduate and has pinpointed haunted spots on her map that they can travel to find strong spirits. With this power, Yayoi believes they can defeat the specter of death and the god spirit. After getting Kitaro and Iko on board with her plan, Kitaro assists Yayoi with her studies. Yayoi asks Kitaro if they can go on a quick bike ride. During the ride, Kitaro and Yayi reflect on their bravery toward the godly spirit. Yayoi thanks Kitaro for being a stellar partner to her throughout their spirit hunting endeavors. Yayoi has Kitaro take her to a location she didn't mark on her map. The episode closes with them arriving at the Castle H Ruins.